Except why does the, the smoke up there was the, or the exhaust rather was looking green? Here we go. Let's get up here, get ourselves some spare parts and unlock that section. And then we'll, I think it's wood that that bridge needs. And I'm wondering where you can... Is there a lumber mill on this map? Or do I have to go back to Black River to get me lumber? It's possible. This is the wrong way. Hang on. Good thing I recognised it now because it's not a particularly nice way to go. Even in this truck. Well, that's kind of nice. Except why does the, the smoke up there, was the, or the exhaust rather, was looking green? Let's see if we can get it to do that again. Oh, not really anymore. Oh, well, sort of, as it fades in to the blue. That's probably it. Most of the way there. Oh yeah, sorry, I was looking, <laughs> thinking, hang on, why is that saying something else? But that's a different mission. I'm so good I don't even need to have the mission accepted to know what I'm doing. Uh, so we'll load up with um, the crane again, even though it's a bit of a pain in the arse. What do we want? We want cargo management. We want service spare parts. We do. Ah, uh, hang on. That was the auto. We want the manual. Service spare parts. Yep, they are service spare parts. Let me sit up. I think that's the only thing that this place gives, so... Uh, let's spin around. Should probably, um... Set out the... How do I escape this? Um, activate anchor. Cool. And then we go back into crane mode. Extend it out a bit, pick that up, pull it back in, lifting it up a bit, spin it around, drop it in, one done. Can I, see C was how I got into this mode, C's not bound to anything but for some reason escape is how I get out of this mode. I also can't click on escape to get out which is also slightly annoying but anyway. Um, now, it would make sense for me to hit C here because the, I'm sitting in the um, pickup place, but if I hit C here, I'll go into crane mode because that's bound to that. I've got to hit V to come out of advanced mode, then hit C now and go into cargo management. Then I've got to manual. It'd be good if there was an option to always default to manual loading, um, not unload. I don't want to unload. I want to manually load. Manual loading, no. Don't want to unload, I want to go cargo management. Loading cargo, no. Manual loading, service spare parts, there we go. Um, C, no, C at the moment goes into cargo management. I need to hit V to open up this menu and then hit C to open up the crank. Good grief! And it's since taken my steady legs away for an unknown reason. Possibly one that I just didn't pay enough attention to. I admit that I'm fully capable of that. 
Will it accept that as pack car? Oh, it does. Okay. And restore crane. There we go. Okay. So I think I'm slowly becoming either not a fan of the crane or I have a very strange relationship with it. <laughs> and it just, uh, I, I get why it's done the way it's done. But I think for starters, I, I would want to have to click a button to actually pop a an item on the little um, pickup area over to the left or right. Because um, that feels like what you should do. It doesn't feel like it's there until you've clicked that and you hear a nice big thud of it hitting the ground. Um, and I'd also like to be able to load multiple things so that I don't have to open up that menu twice. I only want to open it up once to load, you know, three or four things. I appreciate there's a limit because some trailers and stuff can carry quite a lot of stuff. And you wouldn't necessarily want um, want to be want to have like seven items up there. But there's heaps of room for more to fit. I mean, mate, unless I haven't worked out how to. Like, it looks like you're meant to put multiple things up there. Anyway. Or maybe it's just long so that you can... You've got a bit of positioning ability to be a bit forwards or a bit backwards. Um, the other thing is that it's C to go into the crane mode, but then not C to come back out, even though C isn't bound to anything else. You've got to hit escape. So you should be able to hit C to come out of that. And you should also be able to hit escape to come out of the advanced menu, not just V. I don't know why I'm filling up. I don't really need it. And with the fuel, you should just have to hit one button. So that if you need to just fuel up, you can just hit, you know, F, 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 F. Or not F, it, probably not, because that's winch. But C, 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 C. Because look, I can hit C. It doesn't do anything normally, so it's not bound to something. Oh, I'm just ranting a bit today, aren't I? I promise I'm having a good time, you know. <laughs> All right, let's get down here. And then we can uh, have a think about where I need to get these wooden planks from. Because I, I can't think of a lumber mill around here. Like on this map, so whether I do have to go back to Black River to get it. Certainly possible. bit of an excruciating bit here, but it's not the worst. It's not like I'm having to winch the whole thing. And it was awful in the uh, GMC, even with the calm helping me along. Alright, let's open this bit up. Oh, I've got to unload by pressing that. Cool. That wasn't very much, but I suppose it didn't come a very long way. Let's have a look at this map. So, where can I... So I've got Smithfield Bridge, which will be this one here. Um, let's open it up. Smithfield Bridge. Get the wooden planks. Oh, you can get wooden planks from this warehouse. There you go. Well, that sounds pretty good. I can do that, because I can also get some fuel up there. So I need to turn around, come up here, through there, down... Okay, I can do that. I can do that. And if I'm lucky, I might even get to go over the, um... The dam in the day. I think I have done that now, but anyway. Let's swing the bum up here. Come on. There we 
go. Ah, oh, look. We've got the red no entry sign. I was missing those signs. I was missing them. I do like how they've hidden the edges a bit better, though. Always sort of takes away a bit of realism in Mudrunner when that, that happens. We get to those edges. Come on. There we go. So I've been able to get up gears. Let's see if I can go down a gear now by taking my foot off the accelerator in a second. So I'll get up on this big bit. I'll try. Can I do it? Well, it kind of worked. Actually, it made me go all the way back down to first. Hmm, I don't know. I can go back down to first by just taking my foot off the accelerator for a little bit until it goes slow enough that when I put my foot down, it can't go fifth, so it goes f uh, first again. I'm not seeing a huge advantage there. I think the thing is that I just want to be able to stay in a gear without it forcing me up one. When I'm going through some tough bits, that's the bit that's a bit annoying. And I know I've got low range, but maybe I just want to stay in second. But anyway. So two wooden planks, that'll fit in the back of this, so I don't need to bother with a trailer today. No trailer, thank you very much. Ah, <sighs> it is a nice day to be trucking. Should go for a bit of challenge and be in the cockpit. Not the cockpit, the driver's seat, internal view. How do we take a turn? Like this? Yeah, that works. Ooh, dearie me! Here we go. And we're right to go straight through this bit down here, because of course we've unlocked it. Ta-da! It's quite rubbly. You'd think they'd, done, they'd have done a slightly better job of it, but oh well. Okay. You're right there. Whoa! That was a bit embarrassing. So I was I was playing with my hands. Um, this one. Hang on. Can I do it? Whoa, I'm just doing it again. Okay. Take a left here. Take a left here. Take a left here. Take a left. Take your left, take your left, dong dong dong. Take your left here, he takes your left here, he takes your left here, he takes your left. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go, that's what we wanted. Moose crossing. I haven't seen any of these m here meese any time recently, I tell you that. Here's the dam, we're going over it in the day. We're going over it in the damn daytime. Let's get in the external view, shall we? Hello, hello, hello. Watch this here, we've got ourselves a dam, do we? Can he make the turn? He can! That was with full power! Get your motor running Get out on the highway Looking for adventure oh, Whatever comes my way Oh my goodness, that was scary. Um, so I got over here perfectly fine in the not particularly good truck. So I'm pretty confident that it'll be no worries getting over here in this one. Let's lock her in so we've got some old some of the old diff lock. Now I 
think what I've done here is I've managed to get this tree here stuck on me. Fortunately, once you wiggle them enough in game in this game, and also in Mudrunner, they do, you know, break so that you're not permanently stuck on them. Um, and we'll just do a little bit of winch and tail out of this bit here. And that should do us. Get going up to our pickup point, grab some wood, and then we'll build this here bridge. See, this is one of the ones that makes a lot of sense to have wood to make a wooden bridge. Oh no, we did want auto, didn't we? Come on. Hello. Stay on the road, shall we? Now, there's not really any shortcuts to getting there. Um, to make sure I am going the right way, though. Yeah, there really isn't any proper shortcuts to getting there. Let's just follow this road up. I know there's these sort of ones here, but you can do them in Scout, and even then, I don't know that it saves you that much time going up them. I think coming down them would make sense, but... Yeah. We just keep our foot down up this uh, main road. I think we'll get there perfectly fine. Beautiful cornering there, may I, may I say. All in fifth gear with foot, foot fully down. Ooh. Yeah, I think it was worth taking my foot off <laughs> just there. <laughs> Could have been nasty. Could have been quite nasty. That's it, could. All right. And I think sometime soon we've got that, like, bridge that looks like it's been built after a bit of a landslide. Where it says road closed, weirdly, but anyway. Might just be that they were decorating the place and the prop that felt right for that area was the road closed prop. Now, I believe these are spare parts, but it just didn't make sense to come and get them when I could get them so much closer. I'll just double check that they're spare parts, aren't they? Yeah, spare parts. Can't think of anything else that they're needed for. Anyway, let's continue going. Would have been a bit embarrassing if they were planks and I'd gone past them and only found out on the way back. Made it to ruin the corner. Didn't make it around the straight though. Could <laughs> be nasty actually, particularly if I'd ridden up on this and fallen over the wrong side of it. It's a bit cheeky how they keep it. It goes along and then it goes away. Now that was just a test to see um, what would happen if I did that. Um, and I'm glad to see that the physics are currently working. Um, my worst fear in a game like this where simulation is so important is that I'm going along and suddenly the physics stop working. Um, so every now and again I do like to crash into things just to make sure that they're still working. <clears throat> just keep telling yourself that, Hawk. Okay. 
Hold up. Why is there an up symbol over there? No. You're kidding. Um, well, I think I'll come back down here then. I suppose it was behind me the whole time kind of thing. Well, not the whole time, but a lot of the time. Oh, well. Where's the road? Here it is. Come on, down we go. There we are. Oh. I'm a bit beaten up, aren't I? Um, now, I was anticipating getting some more fuel and repair up at that top place. So I think after I do this, um, my next thing to do is go up to the um, garage again just to get a bit of repair and a bit of fuel. But until such time, I'm going to be careful about, you know, not being in all-wheel drive all the time. Although I do think I need a bit here. Um, come on! There we go. Let's slow up here. Don't like I'm rushing down here and slam into stuff. Okay. Gee, I wish I'd noticed this earlier. So where's... is it... I think it's just here that's turning off. The turning off, the turn off. Which way is it oriented? That way, okay. Just checking in case it was better for me to reverse up. Who hides lumber over here like this? And is just cool with anyone taking it. Well, I, sp I, sp I suppose they, they have had, like, horrific floods and they need some help, so... Come on. Yeah. Now, can I drive forwards out of here? Not fully. Better if I turn around. 